What's up guys? Harley Rocks here from Louder Than Hell with me. Uh, Harley Rocks from Rock Rage Radio. I'm here with Social Order, guys. What's oh up? my god. Hey, Hello. Hello. Thanks for having us. Ah, yeah. No problem. So, if you guys remember, was it the first or second Evil Wave, right? Pretty, I think, yeah. uh, probably the first one, yeah, yeah. If you guys remember Metro Station. Yeah, back in the day. That was our, uh, me and Anthony were in that band, the original project, and then yeah. uh, now we've been focused on this uh, on this new project called Social Order. That's so, so cool. Yeah. So how did you come up with that name? Really cool. Um, just, you know, especially with, you know, the last couple of years with everything uh, that's been going on, you know, people are having to, you know, interact differently, you know, our whole way of uh, communicating has changed, so that's where kind of the name developed. Nice, yeah. nice. Because it kind of reminds me almost of, like, WWE a bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 New world order. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So, um, going back to like Metro Station, yeah. all y'all's early days, what made y'all want to start a band in the first place? And that's, that's a good question. Yeah. Uh, okay, so. You probably all each have different answers. But... I mean, can I tell the truth? Sure, go for it. Okay, yeah. so we all have our disagreements. So, Mason and I uh, kind of reconnected, what, before COVID, and we just started writing. And it just, it was just, it was fun. So it's kind of naturally turned into this project, Social Order. Now, you know, Andrew did our videos and it's become a full on band where we're touring. Nice, nice. And uh, who do you say are some of y'all's influences? Uh, a lot of the stuff we've been listening to lately is um, a lot of like, uh, I guess post punk goth kind of stuff. Nice. So like The Cure, oh, uh, Depeche yeah. Mode. Oh, um, no. We definitely like um, uh, a lot of the stuff from uh, you know the past. And I think that's what's cool right now is like there's so much nostalgia. If it's you know early 2000s, the 90s, the 80s, you know, uh, people love nostalgia so much because right now sucks so bad. So, <laughs> I think that's especially the, like you know with you got platforms like TikTok. For sure. That yeah. That brought what King Fred is back number one. Yeah. Actually, everything's so, I mean, yeah. everything's come circle. back. Yeah. 100. It's great. That's freaking awesome. So, you're from LA. Well, originally Dallas, originally but Dallas. I live in LA now. Yeah. <laughs> so, what's the music scene like out there? In LA, uh, it's it's. I mean, it's always good. You know, um, I think LA definitely has kind of this uh, stigma of being a little uh, pretentious, which you know sometimes <laughs> uptight. uptight, which sometimes it can be, but yeah. there's no denying the fact that you know legends have come out of there. Oh yeah. So you know, yeah, so it's kind of like uh, it's a balance, I guess. I feel like what like. Yeah, for sure, Molly Crew. I mean, the door, uh, yeah. you know, the doors, uh, um, Beach Boys, Skid Row, I mean, Skid Row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All, um, yeah. You know, so there's so many. So. Oh, I know, totally. So, um, have y'all gotten to play in the festival? Yet? No, no. So cool. no, no, this is our Not first. Yet. This is what is this seventh our seventh show. Eight, 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 eight show eight, ever. Eight, so. Nine show, uh, something like that. So. Yeah. That's what's yeah, up. Yeah. Got, yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, so y'all just thought this was your last show on this tour? Yeah, last show on this tour. Yeah, we have uh, plans for an upcoming tour. Yeah, we're in. The, we're actually yeah. in talks right now with a bunch of different, a bunch of different artists for like a, you know, um, a tour uh, starting next year. We're we'll gonna get in the studio, write a bunch of new music. Yeah, and that's kind of the plan right now. Yeah, yeah. I feel like we're kind of, you know, we listen to a lot of. He's my Robert Smith. Um, so I do a lot of the production and and uh, mixing. And he's he's a really great top liner and with Andrew like I think Wingtips maybe? Maybe is another band. Have you heard of that band? But I'll have to check them out now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. It's just kind of dark wave, kind of new wave, goth. Okay. You know, with bands like awesome. Drab Majesty, yeah. French Police. Yeah, we love okay. those bands. Yeah. We feel like you know, after this kind of resurgence kind of dips down, I think that's kind of the next thing okay. that's gonna pop, you know. That's awesome. <laughs> So, and obviously, I know you guys have been doing music for a long time, you yep. know, respectively. So, do you have any crazy tour stories? Yeah. Man, there's so many. <laughs> <laughs> what's the level about rating one? here? Yeah, what's the level rating yeah, on this one? R, PG? I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> there was definitely a moment where um, I discovered what absinthe was when we were oh, in, oh, we were in France, and that was and that, <laughs> that everyone should be very careful when they drink absinthe, uh, uh -huh. especially if you get the real stuff in Europe. 
And that's as far as I think I'll go into that. That's as far as you can go. So, what do you want? <laughs> Absif, there's what's legal here in the U.S. is the one without wormwood. Right. Yeah. And I should say you can get into lots of trouble. So. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, lots of trouble. <laughs> don't drink, don't drink it. Don't drink it. Yeah, don't do it. But other than that, I mean, a lot of our stories really can. I mean, our, you know, this sounds kind of cheesy, but our favorite thing to do is like, you know, when, when we're in a new city, we like to explore. We like to go out to dinner together. <laughs> we like to go to Texas. We like to go to Texas. Right oh, now. Texas, Texas, right Texas, right now. Texas, yeah, Texas, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. He explained to me with the prime rib how it's cooked. Because I was like, I want it medium well. Anthony, it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't work that way. No. Like that. no. no. And so, Definitely yeah. not. Um, right so what about you guys? What about you? Crazy tour story? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, just, I'm not going to comment on that one. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. not going to comment on that one. Uh-oh. No last comment. Ask that one. Yeah. All right. So I always throw in one random question. Sure. And it's totally random. The one as of late, and it might start some arguments. I don't know. Go for uh, it. Marvel or DC? Ooh, Marvel. 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 Oh, sorry. Marvel. Marvel, Marvel yeah. Any particular reason? Or particular character? Uh, production value for me. Yeah. Okay. I mean, um, so I, I do design. Uh, one of my clients is, is Marvel. Oh, nice. So I, I do social media for uh, Spidey. Yeah, yeah. So awesome. I have to deal with the Marvel folks and the Disney folks. Yeah, so so cool. their style sheet is like a hundred pages. I have, you know, if he's standing, he can only pose this way, and like Ghost Spider and Miles. Anyway, it's the whole thing. <laughs> it's the whole thing. It's the whole thing. Right, well, I have to say DC now. That they what? Uh, of course he <laughs> would say DC because I don't know if it gets any cooler or darker than Batman. So okay. You know, okay. DC yeah. or See, I'm a bit of both. Like I. Love Marvel. I love X Men. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cyclops, my favorite. Yeah. yeah. But Harley Quinn. For sure, I mean. <laughs> absolutely, and the best superhero movies are definitely Tim Burton's Batman. Yeah, 100%. So, yeah, I don't think you can argue with Miles Keaton. Yeah, yeah. I remember watching those as a kid. Absolutely. Yeah. Boy, do I feel old now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, so what's your favorite? Everybody can find you on social media. Yeah. Presumably, uh, Instagram, Instagram social, uh, social order music. Um, and then our Spotify, what else there? Yeah, I mean, just we need some streams. Yeah. So streams. just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Y'all on TikTok? Yeah. Yeah, 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 we're on TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's social order. Go follow music. them. Go yeah. follow yeah. Social Order yeah. everywhere you have Facebook, Instagram. It's a Twitter, right? Yeah, Twitter. 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 Yeah. 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 Uh, YouTube, I assume. Yeah, we do. Yeah. 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 Awesome. yeah, we're going to put out a new video soon. So. Nice. Yeah. Nice. That's what's up. Any final words you want to tell our listeners? Uh, You know, uh, Basically, you know, stay on the lookout. I mean, this is our again. We just wrapped up our first tour ever, uh, yep. and we're gonna jump in the studio and put out a bunch of new music. So. There you go. There you guys have it. Make sure you guys tune in this upcoming Tuesday, where I will be back in Houston from Vegas, and I will get you those three hours of louder than hell with Harley Rocks featuring Simple Order. Thank so, you for having us. Thank you. Rock on, guys. Oh yeah. <laughs>